majestic. The guardian of fire watched over the town, while fog and a light drizzle faded between stone and mud streets. El Silencio is a tiny rural town like many in Costa Rica, but that morning the town awoke. Here in El Silencio, in a small school with one teacher, suddenly everything was invaded by the future. Almost without feeling or without imagining it, boys and girls found a new way to explore their learning potential. Each student received a laptop computer. which he or she takes home from school, making it possible for the student to gain access to a culture of permanent learning, where technology is no longer restricted to the classroom. Learning is a natural act, and school allows each student to develop his or her skills. If I'm working with a sixth grader that has worked with computers, then I will learn from him and maybe he can learn things about me. So we can reach each other more when working in groups. I have a computer to work by myself, but I can also include other classmates and call them to come and work with me. And I can teach them all I have to do. And they show me what they have to do too. So the project gets better and more enriched. Opening the walls of a classroom is a powerful vision for the lives of boys and girls. In this project, technology becomes a catalyst for exploring new ways of thinking and curricular approach. A project-based learning approach is used as a methodology for the creative integration of technology into the school curricula, taking advantage of programming as a powerful tool for building capacity. Let's say we're studying biodiversity, so we do research. We're all studying one same thing, but from different grade levels. Then we do a project on it, so we don't separate it on notebooks like we used to. Spanish, math, science, social studies. All those subjects can be included in one project, and so it gets a lot nicer. They acquire a real love for what they are doing, so they become aware and they also make their parents and the community members aware too. Students are able to make their own decisions about their learning process. They are now able to approach the curricula in a more integrated way, where the contents of different disciplines are more naturally articulated. That was the basis of the research, to see how the national program's educational contents can be taken beyond the notebooks, writing boards, and flashcards, but to link, link all those contents with the different subjects. What the project is looking for is for technology to get involved in educational work and school contents. If everything around us is changing, we must encourage a change within ourselves. And the community of El Silencio changed too. When the computers got here, we were a little scared, and the children were too because they've never had computers in their lives, much less laptops or even one for each student. When the project started, they began to uh, loosen up 
to handle the computer as if they always had it. It was incredible for us when they came home with the computers the way they taught us, the parents. Son las personas y los animales que se tienen que nutrir por comidas hechas por otros seres, como el frijol es hecho por otro ser y tienen que buscar la comida. To overcome the fear of change at the beginning of this project, the parents were worried because their children began to dedicate more time to the computer than to their usual school chores. Hubo un momento en que yo estuve muy preocupada. There was a moment in which I was very worried. After midterm, my son needed to study exactly the subject for the final tests. I came to Mr. Edgar and I told him, Mr. Edgar, I'm worried. Melvin's not studying. I mean, he doesn't have all those books that all the other children have. And I tell him that I'm worried because the tests were almost here. And the only thing he said was, Anilda, he is prepared studying here with the computers. When he had his tests, he brought us excellent scores. It was excellent. And that is when all of us parents were motivated and saw how interesting and very, very important this project was. Soon enough, all the doubts were left behind. And it was the families themselves who strongly supported this project. The parents in other communities even applied for their children to go to school in El Silencio. The parents have taken it very well. They have become involved in full in this project. In fact, some of them come here to get trained and their children become their own tutors. After a year, and nearing the close of the research process, the students and the community value their school with a new attitude. We're going to know more about computers when we get to college and to work. Let's say about informatics. Today, in the streets of El Silencio, new voices are heard. Voices that speak of tomorrow, of days of change. Of little boys and girls that, with help, can be as big as the giant that watches over El Silencio.